realized we never showed you um, what we ended up getting from um, the greenhouse that we went to on the weekend. So this is the little plant that um, succulent that Jessica got um, and it's really tiny. Um, here's my like now gene for um, size. So it's a nice tiny plant. Um, and then um, I got, I didn't get the, the planter because I already had it, so I'll, I'll explain that. Um, but I got a little plant. I've been looking for a little succulent that I could plant in it. So um, I have this little tiny frog from, um, this is by Callie Lerman. I'll put her um, um, info below. Um, but she is a knitter and she's also um, a very talented artist. And I got this from one of her um, updates um, like later in the summer. And so I've been holding on to him and I've been looking for a little plant that would fit. <laughs> so I finally found the tiniest succulent ever and I planted him. And so um, I'm just seeing how it goes. Hopefully he'll, he'll be okay in there. He's been in there for, I don't know, three or four days now. So, um, and I'm not the best plant mom, but hopefully I can keep it alive. And, but yeah, he's just so tiny. And what makes me the most happiest is just this frog. He is the cutest. When I saw this on Callie's um, Instagram, I was like, oh, that frog. And like um, when she did the update, the, there was um, a few frogs with slightly different um, expressions. And as soon as I saw that the one that had got me on Instagram was available, I was like, okay, he, he has to be mine. And so I'm so pleased with him. He's so tiny and cute. And so I keep him on my desk and um, yeah, I really like looking at him and I'm gonna try my best to keep his little plant buddy alive. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I'm very, very pleased with this. She is super talented. Um, if you ever have a chance to check out her work or even just to follow her, um, I really like her style and I always find um, when one of her photos appears in my like Instagram feed, it always like makes me pause and I always um, appreciate um, looking at what she's come up with. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to share it with you in case you don't know about her. So yeah, he's my little buddy and I still have to come up with a name for him. I'm still working on that. Cause I definitely want to give him a name. <laughs> but yes, I will talk to you soon. happy Wednesday um I am here to happily announce that I finally finished the star block so I thought I would just do a quick run through of all of them and so I'm just trying to flip them get them started because now they're mixed in a pile with the house blocks so I thought I would just do a quick run through of them um so you can see um them all in their glory. So there's this one. It's the black star with a, a white border, a brown border, and then a black border. And then I did tie-dyed one. But this 
um, monochromatic um, natural and brown one with the two colors of natural. And then browns natural and black. And then this one is just browns and natural. Um, the threads. This one's got a light blue center. You can just barely see and then a white outside and then black and black. I really like this one. So this one's the blue one. So it's got this blue and then the light blue and then the dark blue around the outside. And then this one, the black on the inside, brown, natural, and then black. And then this one is the natural with a light blue diamond and a black exterior. Hello everyone, it's Allison. Uh, this is my progress so far on my socks. Oh, well, my first sock. I have my heel done, which is great. And I just finished my decreases a couple rows ago. So um, now it's clear sailing until the toe. So I just started another um, purple row, which is our Cosmos color. And yeah, so I'll see how many um, stripes I can get in before I get to the toe, which will then be in the willow. So it's, uh, it's going actually quite fast. I mean, for me, um, as a sock knitter, I'm quite slow, but I do find that the changing of the stripes helps to keep things moving along because I always have to be paying attention for 10 rows. Um, and I like changing all the colors and seeing how they're going together. And I, I really like how they're working out together. So um, yeah, I think that's really motivating compared to... Um, not doing the stripes. I do like not doing the stripes too, but this is a nice change. So I'm enjoying it and I'm thinking of actually, I could probably cast on the second one right now because I found another nine inch circular and I don't need this until the toe. So I could um, cast on my cuff, but I'm also debating maybe um, changing it and doing um, another color as the heel, toe and cuff in the second sock. I'm not sure. Um, but I thought that might be kind of fun too, to have um, the stripes going in a kind of like in a different sequence for the second sock. So, or maybe the same sequence, but it just starts with another color. So um, yeah, so I'm still playing around with that idea. Um, but yeah, so these have been having, a, I've been having a lot of fun with these. And um, this is the Colors of Fall um, mini skein collection on our Nebula sock base, if anyone is interested. Um, there's a couple left in the shop and um, I've been really enjoying it and I just wanted to show you my progress because I am very excited I am finally done the heel. <laughs> 